What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, your boy is going to be bringing you guys another absolute banger of an off-meta team that features G-Max Kingler, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and Eternatus. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time. All you got to do is scroll down a little bit and just click that big red subscribe button to join the community. It really does go a long way. So, again, shout out to all my all my subscribers. You guys are real ones. You guys are real ones. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only G-Max Kingler. This Pokemon is ton of fun to, tons of fun to use. I think I only used it like one time in recording in the past. So, we're hoping we get to showcase this Pokemon and grab some wins with it. But we got Kingler over here with the Hyper Cutter ability alongside with the Wakan Berry. So, you know, we can eat up electric shots and that ability allows us to not have our attack stat lower. So, Intimidates or any moves that have lower attack stats just will not affect our Kingler, which is absolutely amazing. We got a great moveset on him as well with Crab Hammer, Knock Off, Wide Guard, and Ally Switch. So, we can use him for support with the Wide Guard and Ally Switch. Or we can use him to hit hard and take out Pokemon with the Knock Off and the Crab Hammer. Right next to him is going to be Ndidi, our second Pokemon, and our full out support build on this thing. We got the Psychic Surge and the Psychic Seeds at its ability, and then a fairly normal moveset for any Ndidi with Expanding Force, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Shadow Rider Calyx, and this Pokemon is wonderful. This Pokemon is just super, super strong in this format, and it is great in all different situations. We got the As One ability and the best item for him, which is the Focus Ash. Then we got the Astro Barrage, Expanded Force for both heavy hitting stat moves, Trick Room to counter Trick Room, or to take Speed Control from a team that is outspeeding us. And then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be our second restricted model, and that is going to, going to be Eternatus, with Pressure and the Life Orb as its item. We got Dynamax Cannon, which is super, super strong up against Dynamax Pokemon. I believe it's double damage, right? It's double damage up against Dynamax Pokemon, so we can just absolutely dump on them left and right. We also got Sludge Bomb for Staff, Flamethrower for Coverage, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Metagross, and I absolutely love Metagross. I've been using him a lot as of recently because he's just super strong in Dynamax. We got the Clear Body as its ability and the Assault Vest as its item, so it makes him even more bulkier up against Special Attackers. We got Iron Head for Stab, Stomping Tantrum, and Rock Slide for Coverage. And last but not least, we're Rocking Bullet Punch. First turn priority stab move. Cannot go wrong with it. You cannot go wrong with it. Final Pokemon is going to be Rillaboom. Rillaboom is one of those guys you can bring on any team, and it just makes it better. It's got the Grassy Surge, the Miracle Seed as item to boost Grass-type moves. And then we got Grassy Guide, High Horsepower, Fake Out for Flinches, and Protect for this Pokemon's moveset. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? I don't even have to say it. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this G-Max Kingler off meta series 12 team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against a Zacian and Kai Ogre team. And this guy already picked this team. 15 seconds it took him. 15 seconds. So he, he's ready to lock in. He was ready to lock in. He's also got the Tornadus. He's got Regilecki, Incineroar, and Amoongus. So a fairly strong team. How should we get after this one? How should we play it? Trick Room could be good for us, or Shadow Rider Calyrex just in general. I definitely want to bring Kingler because, you know, he's our boy, and we definitely want to showcase him. So, uh, Real Boom's an absolute must. Real Boom does a lot of work. I might lead the Real Boom. I like, I like leading the Real Boom. We're going to go Real Boom, and we're going to go Kingler. I like Real Boom and Kingler here. Nice little lead for both of them, and then bring a Shadow Rider Calyrex alongside with Eternatus. Come on, yo. We got to bring them both. We got to rock out with all these Pokemon. I'm loving it so much. We're just hoping he's not leading the Zassian because, you know, Zassian could definitely be scary. He could definitely be scary. But this guy, like I said, locked in his team instantly. Like, once we got into the battle, it just said stand about. I was like, yo, yo. <laughs> Dude knew who, who he was going into already. He must have some tricks up his sleeve. But this team seems fairly normal. Seems fairly normal. Let's see who he leads. Tornadus and Regilecki. I'm with it. I'm with it. I can go straight into it. What's it called if I want to? A Grass God. Or I can fake out and maybe Dynamax here. I do like that. I do like it. I might Dynamax a Kingler. Kingler is just type nice here. He's just type nice. He is just type nice. I could go for the fake out. I think I, I'm, I'm going to have to fake out the Regilecki here. And yo, look at my boy Kingler, dude. Look at Spiffy, dude. Dynamax. We got the G-Max Phone Burst, which I forget what says. Harshly lowers the speed. Oh, that's... I dig that a lot. I do dig that a lot. Harshly lowers the speed. Really, really good. G-Max Phone Burst. I said we get into it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's roll into it. Right off against this Tornado. If he wants to pop a Tailwind, we're going to lower the speed. And then we can just Grass Guide into Regilecki. So, I'm with it all day. He's not going to Dynamax, which is great. He might protect Regilecki. I really do not know. I really do not know. Well, let's see how this one plays out here. We do have the Wakan Berry. So, if he wants to go into an E-Web or an Electric Move, we can actually soak it up. And look at this, dude. Santa Claus over here. Santa Claus, man. Look at him. He's got the bubble beard. 
the bubble beard. You cannot go wrong with it. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Kingler's looking mighty tasty right now. He's looking mighty tasty. I'm not even gonna lie. Looking super, super tasty. He's gonna go for a hurricane. We should be able to eat that up all day, right? That's a tasty snack. Takes me out. What you mean? I can't believe that landed though. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. But I can bring out Calyrex here. That's why I'm gonna lower their speed. So Calyrex could just outspeed. But this is a great turn for us. It's a great turn for us. But yeah, like I was saying, yo, Calyrex looks mighty tasty. Mighty, mighty tasty. Or not Calyrex, a Kingler. Looks like I could just like crack open his leg, dip him in some butter, you know, just munch him down. I, 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 I'm sorry to say, Kingler, dude, you're looking mighty tasty. Looks like he has a bunch of crab meat in him. I'm a big fan of crab and lobsters. Big fan. <laughs> We're going to lower their speed, which is all good. We're going to bring out Calyrex now. Calyrex can just roll out here and do some work. He can definitely do some work. Calyrex might pick up a double kill. Might pick up a double kill, which is cool. Which could be beautiful. Which could be beautiful. Let's see what happens here. We go into the Astro Barrage. This is just money. And then I think we just have to double down into the... Uh, what's it called, right? Regilecki. Might as well, right? I think what's called should outspeed. He's probably going to pop a Tailwind. But then we can lower speed, which is great. Which is great. Is he Tailwind coming out here? He is going to Tailwind. Which Calyrex should still be able to outspeed, which could be amazing. Which could be amazing. Calyrex does not... Wow, he's going to Thunder Wave me. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you do that? So he paralyzes us, which is all good. That's totally fine. G-Max Phone Burst is still going to come out here. And we just have to land this. What's it called? We just have to land this. Actually, I hope we don't land this Astro Barrage. I want him to keep Tornadas out here. I do want him to keep Tornadas. Actually, I do not. I do not. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Do we connect? We do connect. Okay, so we're going to connect our Astro Barrage. It's going to take out this thing. We're going to go plus one, but we still have our Focus Ash, which is good. And I have to probably go for another G-Max Phone Burst just to take some speed control. Just to take a little bit of speed control here, which would be nice. Which could be beautiful. We still have Eternus in the back. He's really, really good. He's going to be solid here. We get that attack boost. I need to lower speed. I need to lower speed. I need to lower speed. He's going to bring out Kyogre. And who's going to be his final Pokemon? Which is probably going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, nope. Kyogre's going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. Or he's just going to stay in and do, uh, what's it called? Or he's just going to stay in and do, what's it, uh... I can't even think of the name. Water Spouts. Hmm. So he's definitely going for a Behemoth Blade into me. I might just max guard this turn. I could pop a Trick Room. I could try to pop a Trick Room. This might be more beneficial to us. Pop a Trick Room. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for a Trick Room. And you know what? I'm just going to max guard here. Because again, I think the Behemoth Blade is going to come across here, right? It's got to come across here. He's going to Dynamax you. Hopefully he triggers the Focus Ash. Hopefully Behemoth Blade comes in here. And then we can pop a Trick Room. And pretty much just get rolling out with this battle. Could. It's gonna, we're going to be kind of close for sure. And we do have Dynamax Cannon. Woo! Good old Dynamax Cannon. Good old Dynamax Cannon. Can I go wrong with a good old Dynamax Cannon? Up against a Dynamax Kyogre. So let's see the plays here. Max Guard coming out from the big old Kingler. It's looking mighty fine. Behemoth Blade does come into him. It's a great block by us. This is a great turn for us. As long as we can get off this Trick Room. As long as we get off this Trick Room, this should be a phenomenal turn for us. So, if we're not paralyzed here, I think we're sitting in a, such a good spot. But I don't know why I have a weird feeling that we're not going to be able to move this turn. I just have a weird feeling. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're able to pop the trick room. That is... That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is just beautiful. I love it. Okay, uh, so from here, Zassian could protect. He could definitely protect. But if he doesn't, we're going to have to hit him with a good old crab hammer. Look at my boy, dude. Look at my boy, Kingler. Ready to roll. We'll go Astro Barrage here. Get off some damage. And we're just going to rock into a big old... Uh, crab hammer here. You give me no reason not to. He protects Axie and he protects Axie and he's basically just wasting out Kai returns. So I do dig it. And maybe he'll go into a electric move because he goes from Rock Thunder into my Kingler. And then we proc a Wakanberry. So no protect comes out here. Big old Astral Barrage. Look at that damage. Crab hammer comes through. Oh no. Come on. Come on. We miss our crab hammer? We miss our crab hammer. Wakanberry comes out here. Can we eat up the shot with the Wakanberry, please? We just lost the game because of that. We just lost the game because of that. You're going to tell me we just lost the game because of that? Because we missed the crab hammer? We just outplayed our opponent. We just completely outplayed our opponent to lose the game. I got to see crab hammers actually. Get out of my face with that one. That should be an easy dub. That should be an easy dub. I'm kind of upset with that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset. That's upsetting. That is really upsetting. That is really upsetting. Because we should still have our Krabby Boy. We should still 100% have our Krabby Boy. What is your accuracy on Crab Hammer? Come here. Let me see this. 90. 
90 and you missing. You out here missing. What is wrong with you? What is, I, I set up the team for victory there. Set up the team with the read on the max guard. Setting up the trick room. Zassian should be dead. Crabhammer boy should still be alive. So now it comes down to a 2v1. How am I going to play this? Tough news for us. Tough, tough news for us. Tough, tough news for us. We got to go for Dynamax hand, right? We got to. We, we, we got to. We got to go after you. He's Dynamax. He has, this will be his last turn Dynamax. We have to use it to our advantage and hope that we can pick up KO. We are life forward, which is good. He quit. He quit. Oh my god, we take those all day. We take those all day. Okay, so I'm not sure if our last opponent's connection gave out or he quit the battle. But I just think the Poke Gods gave us that win because we missed a crab hammer. They were just like, yo, Jeans, take this win. You deserve it. And I'm like, thank you. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. But I got a win on my record board and my rank went up. So counting as win. We take those all day. We're sitting at 1-0. We're hopping into our second battle going up against a Kai Ogre and Sassian team. Typical, very, very strong team right here. He's got the Incineroar, the Zapdos, the Ferrothorn, and the Whimscott for Speed Control. Okay, I'm thinking of just going into Calyrex here. Because A, he has Incineroar for Fake Out, and B, if he wants to go in the Whimscott and uh, go into a Tailwind, we can actually just trick him and roll out from there. So I really do like that. So we're going to go there alongside with... Uh, ch 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 alongside with Indeedy, just to cancel out Fake Out? No. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to go into Indeedy. We're going to go into Rillaboom here. I think Rillaboom could be really, really good just for the fake out and kind of rolling out from there. Actually, no. We really don't want to pose that threat. I don't know if we do. Could go in with uh, my Krabby Boy. I really do like Krabby Boy here. And then Eternatus, and last but not least, we could roll in with Metagross. I don't know why, but I'm really liking Metagross. Actually, let's go. Let's go, Rillaboom. Lock it in. One second left. We got it in just in time. Well, I went with Rillaboom because A, he has Grass Glide, and B, he has high horsepower too, which could do some work up against Assassin. And plus, he has a Kyogre. Like, you, you gotta go Roboom. You gotta go Roboom. So, good thing I did like a last second switch. But we're sitting at 1 and 0. Let's look to go back to back here. I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day either. And that is, would you guys like to see Dynamax come back for Gen 9? Or, you got, or do you guys want to see like an older mechanic? Like maybe like Megas come back? Or do you guys just want to see like a, a new uh, mechanic come back? Definitely, or not a new mechanic come back. A new mechanic coming out. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But um, I'm just gonna Dynamax my Krabby Boy here. And I'm, I don't want a Foam Burst. I really do not want a Foam Burst. Actually, I could Foam Burst. But Trick Room is definitely going to have to get popped here. We're definitely going to have to pop this Trick Room here for my Krabby Boy. And I think I'm just going to drop a Max Darkness. Trick Room. Do that. Hopefully, he'll Tailwind up. I could... Oh, I could Wide Guard. Do I even Trick Room here? I think I have to Trick Room. I could Wide... I could Wide Guard and save a turn. Or I could just die in a max. I think I'm just going to wide guard. I think I'm just going to wide guard, save a turn, and trick him here. I think that's how I play all day, right? Tailwind, yep. Yep, did we just outplay our opponent completely? Oh my lord, I'm the best! I am the best. What a, what a first turn by us. Wide guard coming out here, predicting the tailwind, and then countering up with the trick room. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Jeans, jeans, jeans. You're just too good, man. You're just too good. Okay, so from here, we're just going to Astral Barrage here. And I could knock off and take off your item if I really want to. I think it's going to be a play. I think we're just going to double down into you. And I could Crab Hammer next turn. Let's see what he's going to do here. Yo, what a play, yo. What a play. I'm not even going to Dynamax Kingler anymore. We're going to save it for probably like Eternatus. He's going to taunt me. That's totally fine because we're not Wide Guard anymore. We're not doing it anymore. We're not doing it. We're going to say, hey, yo, give me that item right here. Give me that. Look at that damage. Give me that mystic water. And then our astral barrage comes out here. Woo! Jeans is rolling. We are rolling. Take that Kyogre. I'll get him out of here. No, we do not take out Kyogre. But maybe he'll go for a water spout here. Let's see. If he goes for a water spout, it's going to do absolutely nothing. Origin Pulse can do some work. He goes for Thunderbolt. And, yo, we say, yo, we have a Wakan Berry. We have a Wakan Berry. Soak this up, boy. Soak this up. Wakan Berry, yo. We clutching, yo. We ripping out here. We doing some work. So I could hard swap here. Because we know that we're going to go first. I could hard swap him and get out my turn at this Dynamax. I think it's going to be my play. He's at, oh, dude, he's at 200 speed. Ah, I said we keep her boy in here. I said we just keep her boy in here. We're, we're thriving here. We are thriving here. He's at two. Wow, dude, he's fast. Crab hammer coming through. Bilp. 
big old damage with the crab hammer. That's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. I think we can start one tap Pokemon. I think we can. I probably should have went for a different move, to be honest, just to give this uh, Calyrex a plus two on attack board. I definitely should have just like went into uh, either an ally switch or a uh, or a Y guard and have it fail in a taunt. Actually, it wouldn't even allow us to do it, so we, we had to go for an attack and move. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, so we're plus one. I was going to bring out Eternatus. I was going to swap because we're in Trick Room, but he's really fast. He's 200. He's going to be able to outspeed pretty much everything. He's going to go into Incineroar. Intimidate is not going to affect us. And, I, and Crab Hammer can take that out. One shot, no problem. Unless he's going for the Fake Out, which he probably is going to go for. Probably going to go for the Fake Out. Into who, though? That's a real question. Who are you going to Fake Out? Hypercutter's blocking that. Attack cannot lower. I mean, he has to fake out my Kingler, so Ashford Barrage is going to come out here. And I guess we'll just let him go down here, but we'll try to get off a big old Crab Hammer just to dump on Incineroar. He's obviously going to Dynamax to Zapdos and go for the fake out last ditch effort here. But yo, that turn one was phenomenal. Just totally countered everything he was doing. Wide guard at the Water Spout and predicted the Tailwind and just tricked him over top. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. We thought it out too. We thought it out too because I was going to Dynamax and I was just like, wait. Let me think of what he's going to do. I was like, he's probably going to tail on Water Spout, so I could just guard it. Trick Room, and it worked. It, it couldn't have worked better. It could not have worked better. It was absolutely amazing. But he Dynamaxed Zapdos just like he, we think he was going to do. And I wonder if he's going for a Max Lightning or a Max Airship. If he doesn't fake me out, we do get off a turn. And he is going to fake me out here. So Fake Out comes out. Bop. Slaps up on me. We're going to flinch, and he's just going to go for an... Oh, we're going to go first with Astro Mod. Look at that. Damage, dude. That's GG's, right? Should be GG's. He goes for lightning. Who are you going after? Calyx? Oh, that's GG's all day. Thank you for going after my Calyx. We have a Focus Sash. And you can You don't even have enough mustard in the tank to take me out. Get on out of here. I would love to clean sweep this. Cancel this battle, dude. Cancel this battle. I actually want to see how much this Crab Hammer can do. Ooh, Tailwind Peter's out, but my boy should still be... What's Kingler's speed at? Kingler, what's your speed? Can you be slower than... uh? Ooh, Incineroar might be... Oh, it's kind of close. Dang, never mind. I think it's going to take out both my Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. I want to see how much this crab damage can do. I want I want this crab damage to get off. We're going to hit up on this Incineroar. I think he does outspeed me. He's going to guard. Okay, that's fine. What's Incineroar going for? That's actually a bad play by him. Throat Chop comes through. It's a bad play by you. You should have doubled down. He should have doubled down. I think he uh, didn't want my Calyrex to just take him out. I guess we're throw chop there. Crab hammer's gonna poke through here. Yeah. Later, dude. Later. Big old crab hammer's coming in hot. But I'm confused. I really am confused. To why he didn't just take out my uh or why didn't he double down there? We had trick him for one more turn. He didn't have trick him for one more turn. But now I'm just gonna bring out Eternatus. I'm not even going to uh I'm not even gonna Dynamax here. I'm just gonna send a Dynamax cannon. Finish that thing off. Get him out of my face. We don't even have to Dynamax. We just outplay our opponents out here on the Jeans. On the Jeans channel, dude. On the Jeans channel. But that's going to put us at 2-0. We're guaranteeing ourselves a winning record. But hopefully we can grab ourselves a perfect record. He's probably going to cancel, right? If not, Dynamax can. just going to, you know, psh, drop that bar all the way down. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. He doesn't, he doesn't even cancel. He's going to allow us to, to finish him off here. Look at this move. Double damage. Loving it. It's stab. Life orb. Get this thing out of my face. Get him out of my face. We dropped this team without even Dynamax. What a battle. What a bunch of plays by us. Now let's hop into our third and final and look for that perfect record. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record with this off-meta G-Max Kingler team. We're having so much fun playing with it, and I just love that we're winning with it as well. We're going up against a Kyogre and Solgaleo team with Tornadus, Amoongus, and Didi, and Incineroar. So a lot of meta Pokemon here. Definitely got to watch out for that Solgaleo. I think he's going to bring in Solgaleo and Dynamax and just get rolling from there. But uh, I could go in with Calyrex. I definitely want to lead Rillaboom. I feel like Rillaboom is really, really nice in a lot of these situations. Just got to watch out for that Incineroar. And in that case, I might just bring Kingler. Or I could lead... Could lead the boy here. But, you know, I'm going to lead you. Calyx just too good. We're going to go Calyx. We're going to go Kingler. And we're going to go Eternatus. I do love it. I do love it, guys. I don't even think we're going to be touching Metagross today. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're touching Metagross today. We just don't need it. We just don't need it, right? We just don't need it. We do not need it. Actually, do we want Metagross? I just don't, I just don't think we need it. We showcased Metagross plenty of times in the past. Kind of here just to show off Kingler. Any Eternatus. Any Eternatus. We haven't really used Eternatus too much. 
But Rillaboom just works good here. Like, he has Kyrie, you gotta be bringing Rillaboom. It's an absolute must. It's a must. It just uh, does a lot of damage and it rolls really, really strong. Okay, let's see who he goes into. Let's see my boys play. Tornadus and Kyogre. Okay, so I can... I'm posting a threat with this Rillaboom. I definitely want to pop a Trick Room. I definitely, definitely want to pop a Trick Room. Actually, hold up. Wait a minute. I don't think we pop a Trick Room. I said we fake out the Tornadus. We need to protect on the Kyogre. It'll definitely be your play. Fake out the Tornadus and drop an Astral Barrage. Do dig that play. I do dig that play. Allowing him not to get off the uh, Tailwind. I'd rather not pop a trick room with my boy in the back of Eternus. This was 200 speed. We just found out his speed is cooking through the roof. I thought he was a lot slower. So I'm going to fake out. I'm going to predict that he's going to definitely uh, definitely either hard swap or protect his uh, Kyogre. Or maybe even Dynamax. But still, if he Dynamaxes, that's fine. You can just kind of roll off from there. I wouldn't mind it. As long as we can fake out this Tornado and kind of keep the speed under control, we're totally thriving. We are thriving. He's gotta, he's gotta be, he's gotta go for a protect. Like, dude, having a roll boom with grass guide out on the field just poses that threat so much. Just poses a threat so much. So I'm gonna go for the read, dude. I've been making some great plays, so I'm feeling good. We got ourselves a winning record. Let's have some fun in this third battle. Make a move, my guy. This dude's struggling. This dude's struggling with the roll boom lead. He's struggling here. Fake out. He doesn't do either. What is going on? Hopefully he's going for a water spout because my boy outspeeds and we can chip up some damage on him. He doesn't go for either. Dude's out of his mind. Can we take out the Tornadus here? We do. That's beautiful. So no Tailwind for him. That's great. We do half damage. About half damage to Kyogre. And Grimnade's going to boost here. Okay. Dude's crazy. What's he going for? Scald. He's scalding. Oh, dude, that's perfect. As long as he doesn't get the burn. Okay, he doesn't even bring us to his hash. So you can have the burn. I don't care. I do not care. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This guy... This dude got some cojones on him. Got some cojones. Not gonna lie. Not even protecting the Kyogre. But if he doesn't protect it this time, get it on out of here. We definitely dropping this thing with a with a lovely little a lovely little grassy guide. So grassy guide, 100 percent into you. We know that the Solgaleo Solgaleo is rocking weakness policy, but I'm still gonna hit it hard. Still gonna hit it hard. We're plus one on special attack. Gotta do it. And he just cancels battle, dude. A one turn victory for the perfect record. I thought we were going to struggle with this team today. I really did think we were going to struggle with it. But we absolutely dominated the ranked double ladder today. Grabbing ourselves a perfect record. Going 3-0. And making our last opponent quit in one turn. We had some phenomenal battles. Second battle was definitely my favorite with the great wide guard read into the trick room. Worked out perfectly. Third and final battle, we made our opponent quit. And then in that first battle, we kind of got lucky because I do think his connection might have gave out. Or he might have quit. I just don't know. But we definitely should have won that battle overall if our crab hammer would have just landed. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.